All right, guys. So welcome back to part three of our road to a thousand leads a day with AI. And today we're going to be talking about online jobs, which is a website that allows you to outsource to the Philippines. Now I'm going to leave a link below this video for a, an account. If you want to grab an account for online jobs, I think there's some sort of special deal and they also have an affiliate program too. So if you ever want to promote online jobs, um, you can do that. So let's talk about what online jobs does. Let's talk about how I'm using it. And then I'm going to show you how to get set up with this. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because most people don't have time to be making videos and posting on social media all day. Okay. I don't have time to do it. I have a team of about 10 different people in the Philippines that work for me and they're doing different things. Like, of course, my light just went off. Zoom in there. Um, they're doing different things like editing my videos, developing my app, coding software, customer support, everything. And I pay right now about 10 to 20 grand a month for my entire team. Um, but that's with a lot of people. It's actually over 10 people. Now, if you hire somebody, you don't need to pay that much. You can start out hiring somebody for about $4 an hour and you can have them do I don't know, let's say 40 hours of work for $160. And for 40 hours of work, you'd be surprised how much you can get done. Emails, like all kinds of stuff. You can have them do pretty much anything you want. And um, I'm going to show you how to find somebody to help you do that. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start out by going to, again, the link in the description. Um, and you're going to go to the website here and we're going to type in looking for talent. We're going to type in VA just stands for virtual assistant and we can start looking through um, all these different people, all these different workers that we can hire. So um, you can see this person here is charging $5 an hour. This person's charging five seventy, and then we can actually do filters. This person's charging $3. So we can actually do filters here and I can do, okay, I want somebody that's available for 40 hours a week hourly salary salary between two to a hundred. We could say we want two to $6 an hour. Um, proof score. I think this is just who they say they are. It does not in indicate a skill level. ID proof scores are zero to 99 with 99 being the best. It's calculated based on dozens of data points is intended to help employers uh, know who they're talking to is real and not a fake identity. So ideally, I guess you want to have somebody with a high proof score. And, and by the, the way I gauge um, the people that I work with is really based on how they do the job that I give them. So what I do is I usually will message a lot of people and ask them, Hey, can you do this thing? And I'll just give them something simple. And if they do the thing correctly, then I'm like, okay, well now I'm going to go and hire somebody to do the full thing for like a week or two. Um, and I never hire just one person. I always hire at least two because ideally, if you're going to try to find one good person, you want to hire two so that you can figure out who does a better job. So let's just say we'll do ID proof score above 70, any activity, um, any, I guess you can go by their IQ score. That's kind of crazy. English score. So if you want people that can speak English better, and then we're going to refine search results here. Oh, let's just do 12. I'm not really sure why this is saying you have to do 12 hours. Let me click on this. Oh, this is per day. Sorry. I thought this was per month. Okay. So I guess you can find people that are going to, okay, let's just say four to eight to 12 hours a day, I guess. Refine. All right. So here we go. We got, um, somebody here for three sixty an hour, $5 an hour, um, you know, $6 an hour. And so again, what I recommend, you might be wondering like, well, what do I even need somebody to help me with? So biggest things I would say that you want to get started with is first of all, customer support. It's like for me, this is the thing that I will always pay for no matter what, you know, some of the other stuff is kind of like debatable doing video editing and that kind of stuff. But customer support, if you don't have somebody doing this for you, you really need somebody because as you start creating content, as you start doing email marketing, as you start doing every, like anything, right. That you're bringing people in either as a lead or you get somebody in, in, in as a group member whatever, you're going to have people start asking you questions. And so at first it's fine. You're going to be like, okay, I can answer these. But after a while, you're going to start realizing that it's impossible to, to talk to everybody yourself. Okay. And so 
out of anything, I would recommend hire somebody to start answering your emails, have them uh, start helping like manage your comments, right? So if somebody's commenting on a video, if they're posting in a group, in a, like let's say you make a group, you want you want to start having somebody go and, and interact with all these people because you're going to get to the point where you're like, oh, I don't want to have to, like, I want to take a day off, right? I don't want to have to worry about somebody sending me an email and saying, oh, I don't like this product, or I don't want to have to worry about somebody leaving a comment on my video or in my group and then have, and you know, and have to worry like, oh my God, you know, I didn't respond to that person yesterday. And so customer support, in my opinion, again, just one of the most important things. Now, here's one of the things that people I think think is going to happen when they hire a virtual assistant. They're like, well, I gave this task to the virtual assistant and they didn't do it correctly. Why is that? So like my team, I, I don't ever expect them to get everything correctly, right? I'm constantly telling them like, Hey, you got to fix this. You got to fix that. And so it's kind of like if you were to train like anyone, right? You're not expecting them to just understand everything right out the gate. And so what I do is I use Discord and I'll show you in here right now, my VAs in Discord, check this out. You know, they're all posting videos and, and this is one of the things that they do. I'll show you the main things they do. But um, I basically give them templates and I say, hey, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And they will go and do something. And then I'll say like, hey, look, this is a great video, but there should be a comma in the 1000, you know, don't worry about the revision, but then from now on, they're not going to make that mistake, right? Because they know, okay, I can't do that thing. And so what you want to do is you want to find somebody that is good, um, at, you know, one thing like customer support or videos or video editing or something like that. And then you want to put them in like discord or some sort of instant messenger. And you want to make sure that you, you keep checking in with them and telling them, hey, this is what I need you to fix. This is what I need you to do. So if I click on this person right here, I can contact them or I can um, mark them as hired. Um, but ideally what I'll do again is I will go and message, let's say, you know, five people at once. And uh, looks like I have to upgrade again. I, I, my card probably expired because I tra change it every month because I always have <laughs> all these subscriptions that I don't know how to log into, but I upgrade to pro or whatever. It's like 40 bucks a month, I think. And then um, I contact the person. I basically contact like five people and I say, Hey, um, you know, I'm trying to do this one thing. So let's say it's customer support. I'm trying to whatever, trying to blank. So let's say I'm trying to manage my customer support. Here's a question our customer just asked. What do you think a good response would be? And then that's pretty much all. You don't have to ask them to do a bunch. Like, I don't think it's ethical to ask them like, oh, can you make me a full video, right? And then just take the video and be like, oh, thanks. I think you should just ask them something very basic like this. And then the thing that I gauge is number, uh, well, A, I, I gauge if they do it correctly, do it well or correctly. And then B, if they do it quickly, okay? So if I get a quick response and I, and, and I can see that they, you know, did it in the right way. Those are really just the two main things I look at. And then once you hire them, the cool thing is when you go into your account, um, there's going to be a full, let me show you this here. looks like I wasn't even logged in. You're going to have a full dashboard of, um, all of your employees. And then you can click on the specific employee like so, and it will show you what their time is. There's something called time proof. It'll show you what um, you know, what they're doing. So you can click on any of these screenshots and it will show you, or sorry, you can click on any of these, um, hours. It'll show you how long they've worked this month and then, um, or this week. And it'll also show you screenshots of what they're working on. So here's an example of Shauna. She's working on all this stuff here and I can go and see the screenshots. Okay. Now, again, I would not recommend that you go and hire somebody and just only give them an hourly rate, right? So what I do is I give my team hourly, right? And then I usually, based on the person's job, I will give them more or less. So if it's a new person, I'll usually pay them a little bit less. If it's somebody that's been there for a while and they know a lot of what I, what they're, you know, they're good at what they're doing and they, 
I will usually do like uh, small raises on the hourly, but then most importantly, what I do is I take my entire team and I, and I put them in a group chat so that they're all working on stuff together. So if I'm training one, right? So if I say to like one person, you can see there's 10 people in here. If I'm training one person, I say, hey, this video needs this. They all see that, right? But again, what I do is I don't just pay them all hourly. I also publicly and in the group give them bonuses, okay? So I think the cool thing about giving bonuses is, especially if you're doing it in a group environment, is it somewhat gamifies what you're doing. And what I mean by that is like, if I give a bonus to, I don't know, one of the, like somebody does a video, right? And it gets over a hundred thousand views. Or one of the things I really do bonuses for actually, by the way, is um, when people innovate, okay? When they think for themselves and they come up with new ideas. So I'll give you an example. One of our um, people, here came up with a new script. So he said, this is how I generate a thousand leads a day. Here's different hooks. And then he came up with a completely new video, right? So he took initiative and he's like, I'm going to go and, you know, basically come up with my own thing. And, and he went and took a chance, right? And so anytime I see initiative and I see people go and innovate and they go and do things where they're not just, they're not just doers, but they're, they're thinkers, I'll go and give a bonus. And, and it doesn't have to be a big bonus. It could be a $50 bonus, right? but I'll do it publicly. So then everybody else goes, Oh, I need to go do that. I need to go innovate. And so I constantly try to give bonuses and reinforce, right? I think it's better to pay a little bit less and then do more bonuses than it is to pay more and not do any bonuses. Cause the bonuses are a way of rewarding the things that you want to happen. Okay. Um, and then again, it also kind of gamifies it because then somebody sees like, Oh, this person made a bonus because they did this. I'm going to go try to do extra work, try to do this extra thing. Um, as well, because this person just got a bonus. So again, anytime you have people working for you that are on hourly, make sure you're always doing bonuses. Cause I think one of the worst ways that you can, one of the easiest ways to kill somebody's spirit is to just give them hourly and that's it. You want to incentivize people and give them bonuses. Never just do hourly in my opinion. Okay. Um, and then also we try to do raises like, um, every, well, actually next month. So what we do is every, uh, every year in, what is it? April, May, July, what is next month? I don't even know what month we're in. Every six months out of the year, what we do is we um, do like an assessment, see where everybody's at, right? So if, if you know, um, we're, you know, crushing it, then we're going to give out a bunch of bonuses. If some people are not doing that well, then we probably won't. And uh, not bonuses, raises. And so we'll raise the hourly rate for the people that are really, really doing well, okay? So yeah, that's online jobs. Again, pretty simple, right? So um, as far as the affiliate, below your account when you get into online jobs, um, you, you get an affiliate link and they give you a 40% lifetime commission. And by the way, um, pretty much all the stuff I talk about in this series has some sort of an affiliate. So the cool thing is you can literally get a VA or a virtual assistant, you can hire them and you can say, hey, I want you to go and sell online jobs. And they'll do it for you. You could have them do cold outreach. You could have them, you know, respond to all your emails, respond to all your comments with this affiliate link. And then you get a 40% lifetime commission here. And I haven't really promoted online jobs that much, but I'll show you what I've made with it. Uh, you can see um, 620 people have gone to it, two customers, 12 orders, uh, $355 in commissions. And um, I mean, it basically pays for the account, right? Now, obviously, like I said, uh, you know, if you want to, use online jobs, there's a special deal. I'm going to give you the affiliate link that they give me. And then you can go and use online jobs yourself. And it gives me an affiliate, it helps me do these videos for free. Now, what I'm also doing is one of the things I'm doing in this series is I'm trying to figure out different ways to give you all the things that you need to be success successful as well. And so um, with all these different um, tools and stuff that I've been showing you in services like high level, Shineify, online jobs. I've been thinking of ways to come up with templates that I use so that you can use the templates as well. But I'll be honest with you, most of it for me isn't really necessarily a template, but it's more of an ongoing training strategy where when I see something do well, I tell the team, Hey, go and replicate this thing. Okay. And so, um, I'm constantly like looking for new ways to do things that already work, if that makes sense. So they're not even really new things. They're not really new ways. I'm just like trying to find, okay, is there videos 
that we can repl replicate that already work well for someone else. That's what I tell the team to go figure out. And then all of my strategies are really around just not really reinventing the wheel, but just replicating something that's working well for somebody else. Doreen, what's up? Hi, Chase. With high level, I change my... Here, let me do this pop out chat here. Can I do pop out? Hold on. Pop out chat. Hi, Chase. With high level, I changed my email address and that's how I got the 30-day program without you. My other program ends on June 4th. Doreen, you got to get it with me. What the heck? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So you didn't get the uh, the bonuses is what you're saying? Night Owl says incentives are good. No says, do I need to use that CRM or can I use my own? So the thing is, you're talking about part one, you're talking about high level. Um, I would recommend that you do use high level just because of the fact that all of the email sequences and the landing pages that I give you, when you import them as a snapshot, it only is going to import into high level. It won't import into any other CRM. So that's the only reason I would recommend you get high level. Obviously, you can send emails and do all this stuff, you know, that you do in high level with other platforms, but you're not going to have like the import feature where you can take everything that I've already built and just import it. Melissa, what's up? I'm using Flowdesk for my email marketing. What I like about them is it's small. Oh, Flowdesk. I've never heard of that. Maybe I need to go check it out. I mean, since I just got banned again from another platform, I probably will. But I'm probably going to do like an insanely bad review on Beehive as well as on uh, I need to I still need to do a review on ConvertKit and explain what happened there because they basically did the same thing that Beehive did. Yeah, kind of a short one today. I wasn't going to make this one super long. I kind of wanted to show you just the basics to getting set up with online jobs. Now, obviously, if you don't have the money to afford hiring a virtual assistant, you know, you don't have to. Oh, I didn't even give you guys the link, by the way. Let me get the link for you. I need to put it in this actual video. Here's the link. But yeah, I know a lot of people will say, well, I can't afford hiring, you know, a virtual assistant. I don't make enough money yet. That's totally fine. I'm just saying down the line at some point, you probably will. And, you know, for me, I need people like, here's the thing. What I would recommend is if you have a few bucks to spend, right, I would start by hiring a virtual assistant. Oh, after getting after getting a CRM, I would make sure I get a virtual assistant because you can give them Shineify, you can give them um, high level, you can even give them this video series and you can say, hey, I need you to go learn all this stuff for me. I don't have time to go figure this out. A lot of the stuff that we do, like the platforms we go on, you know, all the affiliate programs, everything, I have my team go and figure that out for me. I don't want to have to go and figure all that stuff out. It's going to take me forever. And so if I ever need anything and I'm like, oh, I need to get... you." Know, set up on online jobs or I need to get set up on high level or whatever. I'm like, Hey guys, I need you to go learn this thing and go do it. And then they go do it. Right. And so it's just so nice to have that extra support where like, even if I don't have the ability to learn something or I, you know, I don't understand something, I can give it to somebody else and then they can go do it for me. Philip says, Hey, I made it for the live challenge. Chase, are you going to show us the scheduling part with Raider tomorrow? As I expect, technically I could make part four today. Should I make? No, I, I got to do one day at a time, I think. I'll probably do that as the next one. I'm trying to just do one one at a time, just so like, you know, we don't do too much at once and start confusing people. But yeah, Radar will probably be next. Um, the only reason I wanted to do today as doing um, like the outsourcing stuff is because I think a lot of people are going to go through this series and they're going to go, oh my God, I don't want to do all this. And I think the big thing that I wanted to highlight is like, Look, if you don't want to go through this challenge, hire a virtual assistant, have them go through the challenge for you, right? And have them set all this stuff up because you don't have to, right? If they go and watch the first video, you can have them go and set up the high level account with the snapshot, with the bonuses, everything. If you have them watch the second video, you can have them create your videos in Shineify and edit them with CapCut and so on. If you have them watch this video, well, I guess you'd have to hire them first. But you see what I'm saying? When they when we do the radar video, you can have them set up radar. So it's just really for extra help. And again, I would not it personally I if I were to go back in time and um, do everything over, I getting a virtual assistant would probably be like one of the very first things I would do just because it's so much more efficient to have somebody else help you. And you know, for four dollars an hour, here's the thing. If you can't make eight dollars an hour, right? You can't even make like less than minimum wage. 
with what we're doing online, that's a problem, right? Because eight dollars an hour is you could charge eight dollars an hour to pretty much anybody, and they would pay that if you if you told them you would help them with this stuff. And then if you're outsourcing it for like let's say four dollars an hour, you're making four dollars an hour profit. And yeah, that's not a lot, but my, but my point is, is like, if you can't make money off of somebody helping you for $4 an hour to do all this stuff, I would be very surprised. I'm still sick. It's been freaking weeks. I don't know what it is. So yeah, just out of curiosity in the chat, how many people actually have a virtual assistant here? Just give me a one or a yes. I'm just curious. Not me. Let's go. What's up? Yeah. I mean, again, I would definitely consider getting one. Mark has a VA. I'll be honest with you guys. I outsource everything, even in person. I outsource like pretty much all of my work. So like organizing stuff at my house, like, you know, getting like, if I have things that I don't want and I need to get them sold, I have people help me with pretty much everything, cleaning, cooking. I don't really do anything except work on like what I need to work on. Right. So doing like videos, emails, like all the stuff that makes all the money, because you got to think about it. Like, every time that you do something right where you're going and spending, you know, I don't know, three hours cleaning, right? Or you spend, like, you only have 24 hours, right? So anytime you're spending like three hours cleaning, two hours answering emails, doing all these manual stuff, one hour commenting on social media, these are all things that you can pay somebody a very low amount of money to do. And the idea is that you don't want to be that person because if you're trying to make, let's say you're trying to make, I don't know, what, $100 an hour, right? You have to be a hundred dollar an hour person. So a hundred dollars an hour times 40 is 4,000 hundred times 40 times four. Cause there's four months. So that's $16,000 a month, right? That's, that's a hundred, that's almost $200,000 a year, right? So you have to, to make $200,000 a year, you have to work 40 hours a week, um, at a hundred dollars an hour. And so if part of that time is doing a job that let's say costs $4 an hour, well, guess what? you're now making $4 an hour because you could have paid that to somebody else to do it, right? So you're, you're, you then go from $100 an hour person to $96 an hour because you just did a $4 an hour job. And so every time you start doing all these really um, easily outsourceable jobs, whether you're outsourcing to a virtual assistant or you're outsourcing to a robot or an AI, every single time you do that, you lower that rate that you should be charging. And so like for me, how much would it cost to get somebody to do a live stream and do the course like I'm doing right now on YouTube? I can't really pay anybody to be me. And so you want to focus on the things that you can't really buy, the things that are priceless, right? I can't really have me be like, I can't clone myself. I mean, I kind of can with AI, but it's not really, it's not, I can't really make an exact clone at least yet. Right. So I need to focus on the things that I literally cannot pay for right? Or if I do try to out, if I try to outsource and my money goes down and the quality of work goes down and, you know, and I'm making less money because of it, those are the big problems I need to think about. Not like, okay, if I don't spend three hours cleaning and I pay somebody else, you know, 60 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it is to do that. Okay. Well now I can go spend my time going and building something, right? You also want to think about this. So like your work, so like a lot of people work for their money, right? And at some point you want your money to work for you. And what that means is like, if I go and do something and I make money, right? I want that money to keep reoccurring based on the work that I already did. Cause think about this. I can spend 10 hours working on a video or I can spend 10 hours working on cleaning my house, which one's going to probably lead to reoccurring income. Now here's the thing. It's the same amount of time, right? Everybody has the same amount of time in the day. Everybody has 24 hours. Some of us though are spending 10 hours working on a video and some of us are spending 10 hours watching cat videos. And so if I'm, if I'm spending 10 hours working on a video and that video gets views over the next year or two, and I'm selling, let's say a reoccurring product, let's say high level or something that has a subscription, I could get paid out two or three years from now on that. And so I want the thing that keeps reoccurring. I want to spend my time on the thing that keeps reoccurring. And so that's the idea with outsourcing is that you don't want to keep spending your time on the things that aren't going to, if I respond to somebody's email, do I get reoccurring income on that? If I sold an affiliate possibly, but can I have somebody else do that? Yes. And so ideally you want to take a step back for a little bit and just think like, is the thing that I'm doing leading to a reoccurring long-term result? Or is it just like this quick fix? Is it just a band-aid? And at some point I need to figure out how to automate this. 
Philip has a good question. How long would it take to make enough to pay for the VA and the other tools? Do you think Chase? It's only so we can budget. So as I said in like part one of this series, start out with just the free stuff, right? High levels free for the first 30 days. Our tool Shinify is free um, for the first 24 hours. You don't necessarily need to pay for anything to start out, but at some point you are gonna need to pay, right? And I would recommend, you know, try to just get some leads first, get some leads, sell them on something. And then what you want to do is you want to just reinvest into your business. People always ask me, they're like, Chase, do you buy stocks? I'm like, no, but I buy into Shinify LLC. And what I mean by that is like, I keep reinvesting into my own business. And so if I make, you know, I, I, I spend a lot of money. I'll be honest with you. I don't make that much of a profit. People ask me all the time, Chase, why do you charge so much money for this or that? And, the, and to be honest with you, like, even if you think I'm charging a lot, I still don't charge enough to really make that much of a profit because of the business that I'm running. I'm spending so much money to maintain it and grow it. Right. As soon as I start, as soon as I start switching from, okay, I'm not going to grow my business anymore. I'm not going to keep developing the app. I'm not going to keep doing videos. I'm just going to autopilot and just take all the profit the business stops growing. It just becomes this and it just stays there. And so I'm not like the type of person that wants to make, let's say 10K a month or whatever. And, um, and then just autopilot, right? And so if you start making money, what I'd recommend is like, start investing into automation. You want this thing to keep growing, right? The thing is, is even if you start making money, right? Let's say you make $100,000 and you just, it's pure profit. You're not reinvesting any of it. It's just autopiloted. You're still going to have to pay a bunch in taxes on that. And so in my opinion, cash flow is the most important thing you want to invest in because cash flow is something that you can actually control. If I make 100 or 200 grand a month and you know I'm investing a lot of that back into the business to keep growing the cash flow, well, at the end of the year, I'm not going to be paying as much taxes because of the fact that I'm investing a lot of that money and I'm not taking profit, right? But I can take profit throughout the year to buy things and then towards the end of the year, I I can kind of spend more time reinvesting back into the cash flow. Um, and so it's kind of this dance you have to do. And, and, and ideally, like the more you grow, the more you realize, like, it's not about making a bunch of money. It's about making a bunch of money over a long period of time where it keeps dripping into your account. And then you have control of what happens with that money. Um, but yeah, I would definitely reinvest like and, and, and also like I'd invest in you. It's so weird to me that people are like, well, I have to pay for this. I have to pay for that. It's like, OK, but here's the thing. You're going to go out and spend money on clothes. You're going to go out and spend money on Starbucks. You're going to go out and spend money on all these things, but you're not going to go and, and pay for a tool or pay for information or or something that you're going to need to grow your business that's going to produce you cash flow and actually make you money but you're not going to complain about going and buying a shirt or you're not going to complain about going and buying, you know, a uh, hundred dollars steak that's been marked up from like $5. Right. So like, just think about that. You know, you want to think about more, like I think the people that aren't willing to spend money on, on like tools and the stuff that they need online to grow their business are the people that aren't interested in really growing. They just want to have everything given to them. And so you don't want to be that person. You want to be the type of person where like, look at all these, um, like all-star athletes and stuff. They spend millions of dollars on themselves a year to help um, get them to the next level, whether it's through training, coaching, nutrition, all these different things so that they can be optimal at the sport that they're in. And so you want to think about yourself like that. It's no different like competing online to earn money and, and generate leads and run a business than it is to you know be in a sport. You're still competing with people. And so you want to treat yourself and your business. You're in a competition with other people. Like think about it. You're, if you're going out and manually doing everything and you don't have anybody on your team, it's kind of like if you were to play a video game and you're the only person. You're going to win a lot bigger and faster if you have a team of people. Um, and so that's why I think it's important to have virtual assistants, have people that you can outsource to, you have tools that can help you automate this stuff and, uh, and stop looking at investing in yourself and your business as, as a bad thing, but as a good thing. You want to... Um, get to the next level, right? And you don't want to look at your um, expenses as like a, a negative, oh, I'm spending all this money and you know everything should be free. No, 
if you want to get to the next level, you have to spend money to automate what you're doing. Money is an accelerator, right? So if I, if I have a system that's making money and I put more money on top of it by investing in different things, I'm probably going to make more money because I accelerated the process of what I was doing and I automated it. And that's what you want to do. Um, okay. Can you go deep into the leads and how you create multiple accounts per platform? Please chase posting on all those 20. Yeah. So I was going to talk about radar tomorrow, but I mean, really it's very simple. Uh, you're basically going into the tool. And by the way, every tool I mention, I'm going to put in the description because they all have special deals through the links I have. But um, you literally just go into radar, click on connect a channel, and then you just connect your different channels. So Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And again, I'll show you this tomorrow. Um, but you just go and build pages or, or you buy them and then you connect them and then you can post to them. That's pretty much it. Um, Doreen says people appreciate a free test, but if you gave it away for free, they wouldn't value it. Well, I understand what you're saying, but I also think like, okay, so like right now I'm giving away all these videos for free, right? Um, I, I think you're right in a certain way, but I also think that, you know, doing this stuff for free as well, um, brings a lot of new people in. And I think you can argue at it, argue that point at different levels, right? I'm doing the, this series for free right now, this free course, because I think a lot of people are going to benefit from it. And I figure it's like a more of a long-term game plan to have a lot of people be able to get introduced to what we're doing here without having to pay any money. Um, but I think I have been thinking about doing a paid version, um, you know, like this as well. Um, but doing more of like a zoom, like, like a boot camp. We were actually thinking of doing another boot camp. Um, cause people really like the boot camps. They like to go on on zoom and, and interact and ask questions. So we might do another boot camp in the near future. Good question. Philip doesn't high level have the same scheduling feature. It, it sort of does, but right now it doesn't do reels. So, um, you can't schedule out to like Instagram. I think you can do Facebook. Um, and there's just some features that are kind of missing as soon as high level does all that. I will be making a video about it. And like, trust me, I would much rather use one tool than several, but Right now, um, radar's uh, the superior tool just because it, it allows you to do what we need it to do at this point. Um, no says, are pages expensive? I don't have social media at all. No Facebook, Instagram, et cetera, zero followers. Um, yeah, but you don't have to buy them, right? Um, you can start with a brand new page, you know, um, and start growing it organically. So like, it just takes longer, right? You just have to start posting content. So um, yeah you definitely can get started without having to buy a brand new, or, you know, without buying pages. But at some point I would recommend if you get some money and you get these other things, you get the CRM, you start doing content, you start automating what you're doing and you have a virtual assistant helping you. Then it's like, okay, I'm going to go and buy, um, you know, a brand so I can start posting my content on it. Tony says, love that. Thank you, Chase. You're the man. So you're creating multiple pages under the same account. I thought you were, um, creating new accounts on each platform. No. So like, it's pretty simple for, um, building these accounts like on, um, gosh, my green screen keeps messing up here. See if I can fix this. So ooh, it just made me all staticky. If that's even a word, whatever. Um, so what I do, Tony is I go to Facebook and, um, it's really simple. Um, Facebook and Instagram, pretty much the same way. You just go and build you know, a bunch of pages. You literally go here, you, uh, go to your pages and then you just create a new page. Look, it's just create. So I have like 20 pages under one profile. That's pretty much it. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll cover this in the radar part because people are going to be confused about that. Does radar do trial like the other tools chase? Yeah. So I'll put a link in the chat. It's a free trial up to, I think five accounts. Let me get the link for it. And guess what? They have an affiliate so you can earn money. Everything I talk about pretty much has an affiliate. Um, so let's go grab that link here. You can see I made $921 off of, uh, the affiliate for radar and giving away the trial. So I'll put that in the link. I'll put this in the description as well. So people who are watching this after, I'm just going to have to start putting all the links in the description, but what I'll do again, this is part three of the series. Like we have so many, I would say, I wouldn't be surprised if we have at least 10 more videos coming for this complete guide series. And if you guys are liking this series, please let me know. Um, you know, I have been a little bit discouraged just because we're not getting a lot of people watching it. The last part, of, like yesterday's part two, we only have had like 300 people watch it. So that feels pretty bad. Um, but especially if I'm doing like an over an hour video, 
But um, if you guys keep letting me know to keep making these videos, it does keep me encouraged to do them. Millennial Money Mom says, I've been using Go High Levels many chat automation. Yeah, again, I don't think it works on Reels though. So our team tried setting it up and something happened, but I'll keep everybody updated if I end up getting it to work well for us. It's part of the reason why too, I'm, I'm not wanting to go and do Radar and many chat right away, just because if we can figure it out, it's going to make a video that will do irrelevant in the series. I also have some new tools coming up too that I've been testing. I haven't talked about yet that are really, really cool, really cool. Um, and I want to add them to the series. I think you guys are going to really like it. Amazing. Thank you. You're posting 20 videos. So I'll show you. You guys really want me to show you radar. <laughs> I guess tomorrow's video will be a good video. So let's go to publishing. So yeah, uh, yesterday, look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So yeah, we do about 20 a day between, I don't know what, 40 profiles. So we're doing about, um, what is that? 20 times 40. We're doing like 800 posts a day. Same lot, 20 of the, all 20 are the same posts, but between all these different accounts, it's like 40. I mean, it's like 800 posts. So yeah, we get a lot of leads from this. I mean, this is getting us like two to 3000 leads a day. And, and by the way, remember all of this is automated with the, the virtual assistants. So the virtual assistants will go and make the videos. They'll do them based off of templates that I give them. Um, they'll go and schedule them out for me. They do everything. So, you know, at the very least, if you're going to hire a virtual assistant, I'd probably get one to do um, customer support and I'd probably get one to do like videos, video editing. Those are like the two main things. And you could probably do that for, you know, you can get two VAs full time for four. Let's say you find two for three dollars an hour, three plus three, right? Because you're going to have two, one for customer support, one for video or even just one for video. Let's just say it was one for video, three dollars an hour times 40 hours a week times four for, for basically $500 a month, you have a full-time employee doing all these videos for you and, and scheduling them out and posting them. So, I mean, you know, that's pretty cool. And, and, it, and it's going to get you, I mean, if you don't get leads with that, I'd be very surprised. Please making these videos. You're here over here. Oh, thanks. I'll do my best. Again, I feel like at some point people will watch these videos more. Doreen says, Chase, keep making these videos. We love you. <laughs> thanks Doreen. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, tomorrow, again, we will be going into um, Radar and scheduling out your content. If you haven't watched the previous videos, please go and do so. Um, I left links in the description so that you can go and watch the other parts of this series. You can also just head over to our channel at Shinify and go to playlists and click on the road to a thousand leads a day with AI. And you can start going through the playlist here. And I would recommend that you make sure and go through this playlist because um, a lot of what we're going to be talking about in these future videos are not going to make sense until you go through these other videos. 40 profiles as in pages, no issues with IG blocking you. No. So yeah, I mean, I, I have, I don't know. I mean, I can go through it. Look, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 Instagram profiles. Now I didn't, I, by the, or pages, profiles, whatever you want to call them. I didn't have this many until I started buying. I like, I bought like half of these and then pages one, two, three, four, I would have to count all these, but yeah, I mean, it's probably, I didn't count all of them, but it's probably around 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 per row. So that's 13, 26, 39, 40. yeah, exactly 40. That's funny. Yeah, exactly 40. So, um, yeah. And I post the same video to all of them and, uh, I haven't had any problem and I've been doing this for over a year now. haven't had any problems. So I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know if I do get any problems, but do you have a script or a description on what you exactly are asking of how to make videos for you? Yes. Yeah, so again, like what I do, um, when we make these videos, is um i basically give them a um video like so what i do at nighttime is i do a lot of scrolling on like instagram TikTok. i find uh videos that i want my team to make right so i'm like hey this guy made a video i'll, I'll give you a, vi a video that we recently i found um and i even recently i've been telling my team to like go look for videos um but i find videos that i you know i think are doing well that somebody else is doing and I say, hey, we need to go recreate. We need to go recreate this video. I'm trying to find uh, an example of one here. And then what we do is we just we just recreate the video. I give them 
video, I tell them to transcribe it. Shinify, by the way, transcribes the videos and then we regenerate the script. So look at this is the this is the original video here. I gave them it. We regenerated the script. So here's all the different intros. And then we 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 just change out different intros. And I talk about this in part two, by the way. But um, yeah, I mean, we just switch out the intros. We do this you know, step one, step two, whatever. And and by the way, I'm actually working on building a template of videos that have already worked for us and different scripts so that you can actually use all these. Um, I don't have enough of them saved yet, but at some point I'll probably just give all these to you for free. Um, amazing this generates that many leads. Yeah, I'll show you like, so I've been promoting. So the main thing I promote right now is high level, their affiliate. And in about, uh, so I started promoting them April 5th. It is 523 right now. So that's been about 50 or like 48 days. And in 48 days, we've driven uh, with basically all just these videos, 181,000 clicks, 52,000 referrals and leads. And we're, you know, we're getting anywhere between two to one, you know, two to 3,000 referrals a day. Um, and we're at 6,000. There's two different payment plans on high level. Um, there's the high level affiliate just the regular program. And then there's the supercharged SaaS. The regular is for the 297 plan. And all of these you get 40% on. And um, we've made this month $6,830 on the regular. And these are all reoccurring. And then we've made 2,485 on the supercharged. And um, we have about a thousand people in the trial right now because it's a 30 day trial. We'll see how many signups we get um, total. But um, yeah, I mean, pretty cool, like $10,000 reoccurring already within like, I don't know, 48 days, basically all automated, all of the traffic, all of, you know, everything, um, referrals, uh, pretty much all of it's just automated content that we've built with this system I'm showing you guys. So I'll show you the last six months too. So last month you can see we got 74,000 clicks, 859 trial signups. So that's um, people that got on the free trial for the 297 plan, 136 customers, $5,000. Um, this month, we're already at 10,000, or sorry, 100,000 clicks, over 1,000 signups, uh, 94 customers, and then $6,830 in reoccurring. And the month is not over. We have about seven, no, eight days left. So this will probably, I would say probably get up to like, I don't know, 10,000, maybe 12,000 monthly reoccurring. And then on the supercharged, um, I would say we could probably get up to like, I don't know, 5,000 or 6,000, whatever. So yeah, last month, 1,486. And, and by the way, the, the, the reason why there's zero clicks on these and, and why there's money here is because people will buy the, the 297 and then they'll upgrade to the 497. No says, sorry, but confused you high level as your CRM. Yeah, so if you watch part one, basically I, what I'm doing in this series, I'm giving you this whole funnel. So I give you my landing pages. I give you my automated follow-up with my emails. I use high level to... Um, to do everything on the back end. So when somebody watches one of the videos that we create um, or they visit us on social media, we just uh, we just put them into an automation sequence like this. And I give you the, um, the automation sequence so that you can just load this into your account and then you can start selling um, high level or you can start selling, you know, um, whatever you want, really, it doesn't matter. Yeah, here we go. Here's like the different emails. So it's all been set up for you. And, and I basically give you the exact same funnel that I'm using to, um, to, to, to do this affiliate and to make money with this affiliate. It's all plug and play, which is pretty cool. Oh, Tony says, is the main de denominator into how successful it does uh, simply down to how many people are following you or do you find you get new people via organic reach? No, I mean, a lot of, if you look at my stats on my profiles, 90% of my following or 90% of my views and my leads and my traffic, it's new people. So people have never seen me before. A following kind of helps you get more reach just because you're more trusted in the algorithm. But I've seen accounts with only, you know, a thousand followers on them get, you know, hundreds of thousands of views. So it, it's not like you have to have followers to get to start getting leads and views. It just, it helps you become more trusted in the algorithm. But yeah, I mean, like if you look at my analytics, like 95% of the people that watch my stuff don't even follow me. They don't subscribe to me, any of that. Um, Doreen says, you're number one on their chart. They shared that with the onboarding program. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, won their super promo and they actually flew me out to Dallas last uh, last month. Might've even been, no, it was this month. And uh, I was out in Texas with them and got to meet this, the owner and everything. And yeah, 
I mean, we crushed their affiliate um, competition. We're, we've actually, and it's funny, this is a stat, I don't even think I've told anyone. Um, we have, with 52,000 referrals, we have more referrals in the history of the last five years of High Levels Affiliate than anybody else in five years. So the next guy that's number two now, um, Jason, and, and by the way, the guy's crushing it. The guy's making way more money than me with affiliate, but with high levels affiliate, but he has about, it's less. I'm not going to say the exact number, but it's less. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, 52,000 referrals uh, in about 48 days with this system. So, um, and, and, and the cool thing about this is you can do this to anything, right? Like people think like, well, why would I want to promote high level? You don't have to, you can go and promote, you know, anything. Cause what we're doing is like, I'm sending people to this domain, right? This is where I'm sending everybody. But at any time, I could do a 301 redirect. I can just go into my DNS settings on like Squarespace and I could do, okay, so anybody that goes to this we website, send them to affiliate or send them to, you know, it could be anything. So it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we send them somewhere. We capture them as a lead so we can put them in, you know, our high level automation and then we give them some sort of free training, which right now the free training I'm giving them is just part one of our series. It's literally just, you know, getting started with uh, what we're doing here, generating leads. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys got some value from this. Again, if you're watching the replay or you're watching this live, um, please just leave a comment. Let me know you're interested in me continuing to do these. It keeps me motivated, especially because we're not getting like an insane amount of views on these videos right now. And, uh, you know, anytime you, um, comment and say something nice, it helps me out. Also, um, all the things I'm talking about, I'm leaving as links. So online jobs, go check it out. Um, links in the description radar, go check it out. Um, all the links that I have, have some sort of special deal or some sort of like, you know, special promo. So go grab them down below. Um, and, but automation only works there on high level. Well, yeah, because what you're doing is when you basically what happens is when you get the trial to high level right here, um, you get an email that has all of my bonuses with something called a snapshot. And I show you in that video how to import the snapshot, but yeah, you would just import the snapshot and then it, it imports all of my workflows and my pages and everything that are built on high level into your account. So you can't import all of that into like a different type of CRM because it's only, it's only the snapshot is only importable into high level. Tony says with the video targeting, have you tried targeting generic niches, even like health and fitness and then bait and switch to, to hook with an affiliate? Not, not really in that way, Tony, but we had a guy, um, that he was on, um, some TV shows, uh, like dancing with the stars and you think you can dance. And he has like, you know, 500,000 subscribe followers on Instagram gets a lot of views. And I actually had him, um, I had tried to get him to promote my, affiliate, my offer, my training, all that stuff. And it didn't, even though we got a lot of views and clicks, we didn't get a lot of signups. So I think the more you can kind of talk about, you know, stuff that's relevant, the better it's going to do. Cause it's not just about views. It's about your clicks to trials and your clicks to signups. So, so your content really does have to kind of set the stage, I think for the thing that the people are about to see. Gen X Scott, what's up, dude. Okay. So I got to head out, but, um, Hopefully I'll see you guys for part four, part three, part four on, on scheduling content out with radar. Again, if you're enjoying this series, let me know, leave a like, and uh, we'll see you very soon until we do happy money making. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.